Hi everyone, I'd like to say some good news that has happened to me and it's taken me a while to make this video because I've been terribly busy. The good news is that I received an offer to work at a small commercial real estate company in Texas and it's a contract position so I am now currently working at the company. It's been two and a half weeks now and so you can see why it's taken me <laughs> so long um, with all the different things that have been happening in my life. So the general process that happened was that I had an interview with this company actually with the president or the CEO um, on May the 2nd and then everything went pretty well. Um, they like my personality and they didn't really ask me too many technical questions. It was more about just like, you know, what's the DOM? How would you describe different, you know, JavaScript things? Um, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, you know, what's the difference between all that? So pretty straightforward uh, questions during the interview. And um, they were just asking, you know, general uh, personality questions. So stuff that, you know, Lambda School has already prepared me for and practice a lot. And so towards the weekend, um, that was on a Thursday. And then basically this gave me a take home um, JavaScript, uh, kind of like a little uh, homework or quiz, I guess. And that was pretty fair for the most part. It was just testing basic JavaScript knowledge. And I think I did pretty well. Uh, turned it in maybe Saturday or Sunday. And then on Monday, got a response that um, they were going to look at it. And then come Tuesday, I had an interview with the lead um, engineer. And he was pretty cool too. He was just asking me about you know, my personality, kind of more about the tech experiences that I have had. But he didn't really go into too much more um, technical interviewing, you know, like nothing like whiteboard, nothing like having to write things on, you know, Replit or anything like that. So it was all good. And I think they only took about a day or so. So on a Wednesday, they actually uh, granted me an offer and this offer was for a three-month uh, contract position here in Texas. And it was pretty cool. I was excited to finally get an offer for once instead of hearing like, oh, we decided to move on with other app applicants. So I was pretty excited. And then, you know, I had to do some thinking. I had to um, kind of scout out the area, of course, because I was in Mexico. Um, I had to basically fly back home to Houston, uh, make my way over to Austin, find a house to, to stay in, and then, you know, work out um, what things I would need to move there and everything. So, yeah, it's been a whirlwind, but um, also what was really cool was that during the first week, so like literally I was granted the offer on a Wednesday. I was to start the job that coming Monday. So it was really quick. And I was like kind of freaking out because how do I get home to Texas, you know, that quickly? You know, I have to buy like a, a flight right away. And then like I already had a flight that I had bought, which was the following weekend. And I already paid for that and everything. And so if I bought another plane ticket up for Monday, that's like me blowing some more money. And so at the uh, after I've accepted the offer, um, I, t I asked about, you know, maybe relocation or something like that. And they're like, no, we don't offer that. But we we are completely cool if you, you know, onboard yourself remotely for a couple weeks. So like I wouldn't have to actually be in the office until, um, you know, a couple weeks later, which was like a godsend because I already had my plane ticket for, you know, two weeks from then. And so I was like, okay, I'll just onboard the first week. And then the following week, I'll um, come back and I'll hop into the office. 
And so basically that's what happened. I hung out, I worked the first week completely remote and I'd had like um, jobs with kind of building out the UI a little bit and other things. And then come that Sunday, I went home to Houston, packed up all my things really quickly, drove three hours to Austin and stayed at my family's place just so I can uh, find a place uh, that I can rent here in Austin. And so that following Monday, I came into the office. Um, it was a little bit of a pain to drive so early in the morning because if you know Austin, there's a lot of traffic here. And so, um, yeah, eventually during that, after that second week of work technically, um, I found a place and I rented pretty close to downtown, about $600 a month for this play, place, um, utilities and everything included. So yeah, I'm just so thankful that everything worked out. And that's kind of the story of what happened um, uh, leading up to this uh, job and how I'm right here right now. So that that was the situation that occurred and then the job itself is not too difficult yet i'm building out basically um an administrative platform for them using react and redux off zero and some other technologies as well and i've learned so far i've learned a bit of devops including circle ci and docker and um, there was one more technology as well, but yeah, it's pretty cool so far um, It's more of building stuff from the ground up and so it gives me a chance to actually learn the application rather than just jumping into a code base that's like enormous, you know, so um, I'm very grateful to, for the experience to actually build something from scratch and kind of architect it how I'd like to, to for it to be set up and the job is generally pretty relaxed it's 40 hours a week and the timing is not really crucial like i don't have to come in at 8 a.m um i've actually come in like 9 30 or 10 before as well because i had to run errands i have uh, a new yoga class that i'm taking in the morning and so it's pretty flexible and i'm able to just stay until maybe 6 6 30 whatever i need to to get my work done and it's a great um, it's a great situation too. Um, we're sharing the uh, office with one of the investor companies, um, and so we get access to like all the snacks, the beverages, and basically all the things you would think of that you would get as a developer. And then there's also like a gym downstairs, so it's really convenient for me to go in and work out before I go home. And my commute itself is pretty cool I actually park at a public place and then I actually bike into downtown to work so all in all it takes me about 20 to 30 minutes to get into work but I get great exercise in the morning I have time in the morning to go to yoga class um, I work for a little bit and I get to eat lunch um, get snacks chips uh, granola um, fruits tea coffee uh, sodas, uh, what whatever you can think of, it's pretty much there. Um, they don't have beer or any or wine or anything like that, but I was never that kind of person, anyways. So the benefits and stuff are really cool. Um, it's a contract position, so I don't really receive like medical benefits, but I do receive um, just uh, you know a lump, well not a lump sum, but like a payment each month. So I think my next payday is coming up this Friday, so I'm pretty excited. And just going to see, uh, try not to blow it all, right? <laughs> and that's more about the job itself. And my feelings about this whole experience has been pretty amazing. Um, I couldn't have asked for anything to work out better. Um, I think it would have been cool if I had more peers to work with. Most of the time I work with the lead engineer. And then there's also an offshores team that he works with, but I don't really interact with them. I just talk with the lead engineer and myself and we just kind of get our GitHub um, pull requests merge. Um, he looks at them and he merges them. 
um, yeah, and that's it for the most part. I'm just relaxing now and trying to go sleep early, trying to get a good routine in, you know, um, back at home here in Texas. Uh, Austin is really amazing. You have to come and check it out. It's kind of a uh, quirky little city. It has, an, has like a nice outdoor river that like a ton of people kayak on. I was just there over Memorial Day and there's a lot of food here there's a very healthy culture you can bike around people um, walk a lot very um yeah very metropolitan but it's not fast-paced the people are still really like laid back and uh, i say it's a great city definitely one of the top tech cities i've considered uh, working in it was either this or denver colorado and those were two two of my favorites so yeah, that's been my ride so far. I'm sorry if it's a little bit long-winded, but I wanted to share with you guys this good news. And if you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I've been receiving emails from some people um, just maybe that caught wind of my blog or my YouTube account or something. And they've been asking me like, hey, is Lambda School legit? You know, what was your experience with it? Um, what tips do you have for getting ready for it and that sort of thing and just to clear it all off the table I'm going to tell you guys that it's a great opportunity to actually get into the tech industry because no other school like kind of lets you just you know study 100% remote and then like study all this stuff for like seven well seven for me but nine months for newer students and then just pay like a certain um, income share agreement for two years after they work. So you can also like extend your time if you're trying to um, work uh, or get more experience to become better with the material. And also I've known some of my classmates to become teacher assistants. So they actually get more knowledgeable and they actually come out with a higher paying job, believe it or not, because of this extra little experience they've had looking at other students code teaching other students and doing all these extracurricular things so definitely a uh, an awesome experience i do really recommend it the benefit that lambda school offers is that they back you up basically they say this student has been through the curriculum 30 week curriculum now maybe a little bit more and they've done they've shown that they can do the work they you know have basically learned and code like 40 hours a week it's basically a full-time job and they give you like an, a little badge at the end that you've graduated they help you find jobs they have career coaches it really is an amazing program and it's 100 percent remote like i mentioned and there's also a part-time curriculum if you are currently in a uh, another job. So I'm gonna close it up here. It's just getting like the 15 minutes almost. Um, yeah, please feel free to reach out to me and uh, I'm glad to be able to share this news with you guys. Take care of yourselves, be kind to yourselves, do yoga, meditate, go outside, get sun, be happy. And uh, if you are coming by Austin, Texas, feel free to hit me up. I'm here for, uh, for the foreseeable future. And um, that's it. Have a good one. Take care, guys.